Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Gripper back here with another video for you guys today. In this video, we're going to be talking about did the Rookie Short Prince in 2022 Top Series 2 save the set as a whole? Before we get into that, let's give uh, let's plug the giveaway once again. We're giving away this box of 2022 Bowman. All you guys have to do to win this is be publicly subscribed, like this video, turn on post notifications for all the content, and comment who you think your All-Star representative is going to be on your favorite team going to L.A. this year for the All-Star game. I'll pick the winner once I hit 3,000. So there's that. And before we get into the video, sorry if I sound sick because I, I am sick. My whole family got sick and I was the last one to uh, contract it, I guess. So If I sound a little off in the next couple of days, that's what it is. So, and also, by the way, I have one important question for you guys. One very important question. So, I was contemplating on spending some more money on baseball cards this weekend. So, I'm going to need you guys to help me figure out what I should buy. Should I buy $150 worth of Series 2 or a hobby box of Panini Absolute Baseball? If you guys haven't heard, that that's pr it's a pretty good box. Um, you're getting like six hits for like $150. And what they're doing is one... There's two mat. There's two mini boxes, right, in the um in the box, and one contains a booklet, and then they offset the other box with an additional autograph. So you're getting six hits per box. Let me know what you think I should buy: a hundred dollars worth of series two, or a hundred fifty dollars worth of series two, or a Panini Absolute box because that's hundred fifty dollars as well. So we're also going to open two packs. Got to put them on screen here of series two because why not? Because that's what we're talking about in today's video. So let's talk about. 2022 top series two again <laughs> feels like i talk about this set quite a bit and rightfully so this set is a very interesting set so this set went from being hypothetically really good because we thought everyone's going to be in it to really bad now it's average at best in my opinion i think this set is average at best here's why okay so a lot of people are saying all the sps carry the set actually i don't even know are they ssps or are they SPs? I'm not actually entirely sure. I think they're just short prints. But, you know, it brings up the question, do these rookie short prints carry the set in Series 2? And I, I can't say they do, you know. I don't think, and I'll tell you why. So, for one, there's really three chaser cards you're looking at in the entire set. Well, four if you want to include Edward Cabrera, because some people want to include him in that set as well, since he has a short print. And, um, you know, here's the thing, right? Do you know how hard it is going to be to find one of these? Unless you have the most insane luck, like my brother does, pulling all these good things left and right, there is no chance you're going to find one of these short prints by just buying a couple boxes. Like, if you want to find a Torkelson, and uh, a Bobby Witt, or a Julio Rodriguez, you're probably going to have to spend upwards towards probably like five to $700 to find one, at least one. So here's how I look at it. There's 85 short prints in the checklist. There are three of them. Well, I guess, like I said, if you want to count Edward Cabrera, you can count there's four. So basically, you have a 1 in 20 shot pretty much in each hobby box to get a good hit. Because basically, it's not it works. Let's let's pull the odds up here of a short print. I'll try to find it. I found it the other day. These odds are just so hard to find. Um, let me find the short print odds. So base short print. Right here. A base short print in a regular hobby pack is 1 in 50. So basically, every other pack or every other box of Series 2 will contain a short print. So in essence, there's 85 subjects in that checklist, okay? You have roughly about a 1 in 40 chance at a hobby box to contain that special card you're looking for now some people may think this is a great chase i can't see it it's literally finding a needle in a haystack um so if you go to your lcs and they get one case of this stuff 
there's a chance that this card or the card you're looking for, like the Wit, the Torkelson, or the um, Holio, aren't even there. And that's the thing, right? So do, people bring up, do these short prints really save Series 2? I don't think so. Because it's literally trying to find the needle in a haystack. And I, I you know, we're going to get to the packs here. I just, I just can't see it, you know? It's going to be super hard to find one of these. You're going to have to have insane luck to find one. That's just how it's going to be. This set isn't that big, per se. It's only 330 card checklist. But the short prints, and no one really knows how short printed they really were. So they could be, you know, short printed, you know, even uh, lesser than, you know, let's say the Vladdy. Or the Acuna Bat Down. Oh, Bryce Wilson. Oh, my God. Oh, of course they'd give me a Bryce Wilson card. <laughs> Who is this? Logan Allen. We're getting a lot of silvers. A Corbin Burns generation now. And no short print in this pack. So basically, you know, what you're looking for in these... Oh, look at these. Oh, look at those corners, by the way. Oh, man, look at them. Oh, that's terrible. At least they're not that good. I mean, they're decent players, but oh man, that's terrible. Man, the my LCS man, his shipment must have got banged up because a lot of the boxes he was selling had huge dings in them. I luckily picked a box that didn't have a ding, and it looks like we're on an all base pack yet again. Oh, we love the all base packs, don't we? We absolutely love. All the base packs. So, I mean, the checklist itself isn't that bad. I mean, there's some cards to chase after, like the um, Seth Beer, uh, Edward Cabrera, regular. Edward Cabrera has a card in here. Ronji Contreras, O'Neal Cruz. So, it's not a bad checklist, per se, but... Ooh. Okay, so here's a perfect example, guys. Here is a short print. Here, so when you find a short print, here's what it is. There it is. A Cal Ripken Jr. Please tell me his card's not damaged. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. This card's actually really cool. So this is a Cal Ripken. I don't know if this is a super short print or a regular, but when you get a short print, it'll be upside down in the pack. So there, there's one of the 85 players in the checklist, and this hobby box, whatever I picked, you know, will not have a hit, or I should say, a, you know, another um, short print. It's very rare to find two short prints in one hobby box. Typically, it's one every other. So this is the um, short print I got. Not a bad one. I like Cal Ripken Jr. He's one of my favorites, so I'll take it. But obviously, you want the uh, Torkelson or, you know, all the other guys. So, guys, let me know what you think about the discussion. Do you think the short prints carry the set or do they not? I'll see you guys in the next one.